All right, guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you yet again about foottrading.co.uk. Thank you to everyone that continues to subscribe and support our content. It means the world to us. You guys know we work very hard on the website. You make a lot of queens, but without you guys, we don't have a website. So thank you very much for that. We're working on another big giveaway this month, and hopefully we'll have details of that in the coming days uh, for you guys. But just so you know, £10 a month gets you access to Tier 1 perks, which is buying and selling prices for icons, specials, and silvers as well as Thursday flips, they bang all the time, a lot of coins you made. And with tier two, you get all the tier one, plus chemstar filters, plus live filters, and we're adding UCL cards to that as well. PC prices have now been added, and we're continuing to add more PC features in the coming days and weeks. So make sure you check out foottrading.co.uk. You'll make millions as simplistically as anything. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. You get three uploads there on this channel. The morning is League SPC Method of Glory. That is me teaching you guys how to craft players and packs essentially for free once you get the grind going. So you're able to do that sort of thing without having to spend your hard-earned money on FIFA points. It allows you to craft players, icons, all that sort of stuff. It's one of the best methods you'll ever get in this game. So make sure you get involved in that. The evening video, this video is always a trading video. And at the moment is a trading series. which is trading from 1,000 coins all the way to Team of the Year Fernandez. Hoping to complete that in one week. We've already done trading from scratch, basically, to Primary Sabio. Now it's the time of Fernandez. And then the midnight content is a mixture of packs, picks, my thoughts on the game, trading tips, whatever I can do to, to make your guys grind easier. You also get a stream at 10 a.m. on YouTube and 5.30 p.m. on Twitch. That is subject to change for the next couple of days because I'm getting my COVID vaccination. And apparently people that have had COVID before react quite badly to it. So we'll see. If I'm, if I'm good to go, we'll be good to go. But this is trading to Fernandez, and those that know the last episode, we're well over 300,000 coins. But as you can see right now, we're at 418. Um, these are my favorite sort of trading videos to bring you out because I can show you one of my favorite methods in action. So let's start, start by talking about what happened tonight. So content came out tonight, and we got nothing except <laughs> we got everything except for an FGS pack, which was a rare election pack, which was tradable. Um, these are my favorite, favorite types of SBCs. There's nothing else in the game. No one's that bothered. So what they do, everyone opens up their FGS pack, lifts up their players, undercuts them and comes off the game. What I then go and do is in that rare election pack is buy the silvers that crash in price. And so those who did watch the last video will remember some of these cards that I bought and you'll remember the prices they got to. I'm going to show you now some of the prices you pay for cards. And now the sell on this, it might be that this video covers two days because the sell's going to be quite longer than I think. But for example, these Garidos we paid for 5,900 coins for. EA mass listed these. These have been listed by EA. This is EA interfering with the market. The exact same number of owners, exact same bought for. EA knew exactly what they were doing to bring the market price down. They're stupid. I just went and bought half of them, so it's irrelevant. Um, again, these sort of cards, 850 for this Bahokan. So what we do is when these cards come out, I know what they sell for. Website subscribers already know what to buy for. We put it there for you guys. We buy them on mass. We buy loads of these cards. So my transfer list, I've got quite a few. Um, over here, I'm unassigned on them. We buy tons of them and we buy them all at really low prices and we wait for the market to bounce back. But the reason why I like it when this happens is all we got was one rare election pack. So the market will see a massive crash for an hour or two and then it will bounce back. So into tomorrow, we should see a bounce back and it should I should be able to have this video go live on Wednesday, but it may have to go on Tuesday, sorry. But it may have to go live, live on Wednesday. But we buy them. Now, you're always looking for a 40% drop off, but what you want to do and start doing now is you guys always ask me for filters, right? Right now on my page, you can see so many filters. Pause the video, take those filters. Like, pause and take those filters. You've now got loads of filters there. What you guys can then go and do is write down these positions and these teams. And before we get supply or content at 6 p.m., check the price of these cards and what they're selling for on average. List them down, wait for silver supply, and buy them when they're 40% cheaper. That's all silver trading is. That's literally all it is when you mass invest. So you've got filters right there that you guys can go and use immediately to go and make coins from. So what I'm going to be doing now is waiting for the market to rise over the next 24 hours and setting these off. And bit by bit, I will come back to you. Now, you know we're roughly about 300,000 coins, maybe slightly more before the at the end of the last video. I don't know the exact amount, but check it out if you're not sure. And we'll see where we're at at the end of this. I'm hoping to push on to 450, 500. And like I said to you guys, the first three days grind to get to 500k were the ones that mattered the most. And it looks like with the content the way it's been, we're going to be able to do that relatively easily. Because once I sell these, I'll also start flipping other cards and flipping other, um, other sort of specials or whatever. When we get to that point, we can do that. Um, but basically, in, we're basically 300,000 coins into silvers. 
I want to show you how they work. So now we're going to go away, start getting them sold. I'll see you soon. All right, good morning, people. It is the next day. Uh, we sold some silvers uh, yesterday because they were up enough. Uh, basically, this is where we're at now. We've got all these cards here that we have got a list up there. And we are unassigned on more over here. Um, these are all being listed as we, as we go today. And now the question mark for some of you might be, um, again, I'm showing you silvers. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason why the midnight video last night gave you guys some filters uh, that you can work with with silvers. If you haven't done that yet, check it out. Um, but the re main reason why I'm showing you this is tonight we're likely to get UCL marquee matchups or Wednesday. One of the two. And we're definitely going to get marquee matchups on Thursday. Now, Thursday might see people hold packs because we're going to be getting a promo most likely with a refresh or something on Friday. But you guys are able to use this now. So I've just show I'm going to show you in this video basically the cards I've bought, as much of the sort of sell price as I possibly can. It gives you a rough idea of how the market bounces back, but it also gives you a rough idea of the, the patience that's required and the fact that some cards will go up, some cards won't. But as an example, for example, this Hartel here is now at 1,000 coins. Uh, woke up this morning, he's at 1,000. We paid 600 for him. So when people say to me, what's a good profit? For me, I'm happy with that. Once I come to Toast Card, I've got 50% of the card's value back. So what I spent, so I spent 600 and I'm going to get 900 back once he sells. So for me, a 50% return on a card is very good because if you did that across all the cards, you make quite a bit of profit. It adds up. And like I said before, quantity, not quality when it comes to silvers. This Aliou, for example, we paid we pay one, is, is what sent for one two. We paid 850. For him, I'd hold for a bit more. I want one four, one five ideally. So I'll wait for him to rise and come off the market. This Andrik currently selling for 1213. We pay 1000 for him. So again, waiting for 1415 on him. I'm in no rush to sell him. Uh, Uja here, currently at 15. The 1 2 would ignore because it's, it's an undercut. So this is the sort of card I would list up at 1 5 and try and get a sale on him. Again, after tax, looking at more than 50% return on my investment and what I pay for him. And you repeat that process across all the cards that you bought. The only ones that you're looking for less profit on are cards like Garrido. These are higher, higher cards. And. You're not going to get, sort of next day anyway, you're not going to get a 50% return on them, but you are going to get 1,000-ish coins back per card. I bought quite a few of these. Now, at the moment, he's on the market. There's going to be a couple of undercuts, I guarantee you, because people are going to hold him low. There's a 7,000 there, which is yet to sell. Remember, it's 13 in the morning. And a 6, 7. Actually, to be fair, once they come off, these are sort of cards I list for 7, 5. I list one now, overlist it, and try and get sales on them. But because these cards are needed for Cadiz and Cadiz are very expensive, and this is one of the cheaper, more expensive cards, these will come off the market pretty quickly today. Um, and so bit by bit, we'll sell them. Engels here, we paid 750 for. And again, looking at what he's selling for currently, there's one, two there. So again, with him, I'll go like one, three. And again, I'm looking at about 50% return on my investment. And it, it stacks up very, very quickly. The, the, the money you make stacks up incredibly quickly. And it's... It's a case, like I say, of making sure you spread your bets firstly, other than I've bought those Garridos. Now, something important to mention about these Garridos. Look at the um, look at the bought for price, look at the number of owners, look at tradable as I flick through these. You wouldn't know I'm flicking through these, you can see it. You can, except for the fact that the Garrido's doing that. Now, what does that tell you? That's EA interfering with the market. EA mass listed this Garrido last night. They also mass listed a few other cards last night to bring the price of these cards down. It messes with investors, it messes with traders, which some people agree with. But all it does really is means that most people go out and buy them and hold them because they know they're going to go back up in price again. I don't like, no matter what happens, EA messing with the market. Because number one, there's a transfer market on this game for a reason. You are able to trade on it. If, if you didn't want people to do that, then it should be a shop where you go and buy the player specifically and not a transfer market. A transfer market for EA is vitally important to their FIFA point model. The way that they sell FIFA points and people lose money on tax and stuff like that when it comes to selling their cards. It's vitally important for the EA to then go and mess with the market and list these cards up. To me is a problem i don't like that at all you should be messing with the market you should be letting the market be natural and allowing people to trade in that way because that's exactly what you set up when you when you sort this game out but we are currently at if i have a little look twenty-eight thousand and twenty-one. i also got a few cards on bid you won't be able to see the other ones i've got because they're hidden but like this endo for example i picked up like 30 cards on bid if i this endo see when you put them here they disappear um this endo is this, this, this a 251 this might be the 251 yeah, we paid 250 for him and we'll get like 2,200 ish for him. We'll get 2,001. Massive profit on him. It adds up. So, what I would suggest you do is now, if, you, if you've got time, go and watch the midnight video last night and look for filters. Check the prices on your console now for those in case we do get UCL market matchups. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going with it on this video. We'll show you guys the, pro the prices and what we sell them for as much as we can. And we'll go from there and we'll be right back. All right, guys, today's progressing and we're at 73,000 coins now. Quite a lot has been sold. We're doing very well. Mine sent the backs did very well overnight for me. Um, they're always a good buy. They always do very well. Um, as you can see, we're getting them sold bit by bit. 
Uh, that endo that we've lifted up, 2,100 coins in the end for him. And Ketsu is selling quite well. Uh, we're continuing to grind it out and continuing to sell it. Now, the plan for me with this video was to have it out on the Tuesday. But I've just had my vaccine and I'm not feeling bad or anything. But I'm, I feel like I might just sort of chill for the evening. And for the day today, just selling these bit by bit. And I also don't want to sell them too quickly because some of them aren't profitable enough yet. Um, so I'm going to keep listing stuff up and keep selling stuff. Um, and then basically bit by bit, we'll get stuff sold off. And it might be that this cake takes over more than one day because there's a lot of profit here. A lot of profit. And I don't want to miss out on it. Um, so I'm going to clear the transfer pile off now. What's sold? Continue selling to free myself up some space. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So continuing to sell. Um, and we're at 173,000 coins now. Lots of silvers have gone. But I've still got a lot of silvers to sell. Now, the problem I've got is getting very close to 6 p.m. If we do get silver supply tonight for UCLs, the silvers will take a hit, and that will mean my hold on these is much, much longer, which is fine. It happens with, with trading. I've, I've only wanted to get out the ones that I know are good profit so far. I'm not rushing to sell anything that isn't good enough profit whatsoever. So I'm holding these for now. Um, but I don't think I'd have much of a chance to trade at the moment purely because I'm feeling a little bit unwell off that jab. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how things progress. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it is the next day, um, me not feeling too well yesterday actually paid off quite well because we did not get any silver supply and so silvers have climbed quite a lot and it's very very good. For, for me it's worked out quite well, um, the profit on these cards is a lot higher. A lot of these Union Berlin players we picked up on bids for 250, so as we get nearly four times our coins back it is, is brilliant, we're really happy with that. A lot of these Wesker players again, some of them we picked up for like a thousand, others again on bids for three, four, five hundred coins. So this, it's basically, it's worked out well. It's worked out very, very well. The only card that hasn't really seen a massive rise yet is this Garrido, the CDM. Uh, at the moment, he's at close to break even, basically, for me, which is fine. I don't mind it. I break even on him, where I've got profit on the 150 other cards that I bought, which is which is like, okay. Um, but I am going to hold a little bit longer on him and just see if some of the cheaper ones come off. We can try and pick up maybe a slight profit on each one. But he, has, he hasn't paid off, but he also hasn't gone wrong. It's just one of those sort of break even situations where you go... Was he worth buying? Potentially not. If I'd have bought him on a Thursday, then I'd be relatively happy with him as it is right now because we'd know there's not really much supply on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for example. So for him, I'd be relatively fine with that. I'd just hold him and let him go. But because we're getting probably UCL marking matchups tonight and marking matchups on Thursday, I probably want to get out of him uh, bit by bit as the day progresses. I'm now torn as to what I do in terms of investing for tonight because. It's likely we get UCL marquee matchups tonight. The, the old marquee matchups ended end tonight. They end at 6 p.m. So it's likely we do get UCL marquee matchups again, but there's no guarantee on it. And so my question mark is whether I go and pre-invest in the UCLs or not. Now, you guys remember from last week, I invested in UCLs and I made a huge amount of coins from it. Admittedly, because I went for a lot of Syria because they were quite cheap to limit my risk. Syria were the ones that, ba that banged and did very well. Uh, but the other leagues tended to drop off a bit. So... I'm tall at the moment. My, my mind's telling me to go with a rash investment at 6pm. Um, but my heart's saying just risk it and go for it. Because if it, if it comes off, as you guys know from last week, cards I paid 1,500 for, I sold for 5,000 coins plus. Um, so I am torn. I'm going to decide throughout the day basically as to what to do. They're all, a lot of them are up. So the teams like Chelsea and Atletico, they're up. But teams in that league that have got high rated cards aren't actually that high. And a lot of the time... Basically, last week, it was the higher rated UCL rares and commons that went up alongside the Juve ones. So, for example, the, the likes of um, I think Malinevsky is at his name and Darun and whatnot, they all got up to 3,000 coins. So, if you can get them cheap enough from that league, so if I decided to plump for La Liga Santander, Premier League, and potentially, I don't know, Bundesliga, um, they were the ones, if, if I can get up 80, 81, 82, they're the ones that did very, very well. Um, but I don't know if I want to invest into the actual teams themselves because they seem inflated as it is. I think people have already started buying into those. Um, so I'm going to see how it goes either way. We're going to sell some stuff off. We're going to keep grinding um, and we'll go from there. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So continuing to sell throughout the day and we're now at 396,000 coins. Uh, lots of stuff listed there. Lots of stuff still to be sold. As you can see, though, I'm always honest with you guys. These Garridos haven't really come off. I think I bought about 30 plus of them and I'm looking at about a 900k, 900 coin hit. Sorry, not 900k. A 900 coin hit from each of them. It doesn't matter because... On these cards here, I've made nearly a thousand on these. Like the amount of Ujas and, and Strikers I've sold. So we made a lot of profit elsewhere. I think I picked up 180, 200 cards in the end um, overall. Um, and we've made profit on every single one pretty much except for the Garrido. So it, this is this is why I want to show you guys these moments. Because I think sometimes you guys buy cards and think that all 100 silvers you make you buy are definitely going to make you profit straight away. And that's not how this works. I could hold these Garridos in the hope that tonight we don't get marking matchups. We don't get silver supply and they stay up. Um, and there's a chance we don't. But my mentality is always now to get out of this. I don't want to hold coins and cards for too long. 
Um, but it is important that you know sometimes it's not going to go perfectly. I've still made massive profit and I'm happy with that. But sometimes you're going to buy cards. Whether you buy 20 special cards, 15 might sell for a good profit and 5 might sell for a break even or a loss. It's remembering the 15 that made you a lot of profit rather than the 5 that made you a loss. And you learn more from those losses. Would I now go in on Garrido knowing that EA mass listed him? Nope, because he hasn't bounced back to the level that I wanted him to. So you live and you learn by that. But again, when they finish selling everything off, it's pretty much the stuff left in the club now, uh, which will get sold off, and the Garridos have to get rid of, and then I'll get rid of those one by one. So I'll list one, sell one, list one, sell one, and bit by bit, they will go throughout the day. And hopefully we should be up on over around 500k plus, maybe even more than that, um, which is really good. Like I said to you guys, the first part of the grind, when you're trading, is the hardest part. Getting up to that five, six, 700k is the hardest, most grindy part. After that, it becomes far easier. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are going to continue to sell the stuff that's in the club. Um, we are at 430,000 coins right now, um, but total when we sell everything will be about 600,000 coins plus. It's been a very good um, sort of buy and sell on Silvers. However, I'm fully accepting that I'm going to be taking a hit on these Garridos. At the moment, he's about 5,000 coins, so I'm looking at about 1,000 coins hit a card as it stands. What I can do is hold, and I may well hold until... We see what happens at 6 p.m. tonight, but I'm not really sure at the moment. I'm, I'm sort of torn. No supply, he rises. But there are, I think, 30 of these that I've got now to sell um, at basically about 5k pop. So it's 150k minimum from those um, to come in. Obviously, you've got another tax as well, so that'd be 142, I think. Um, and then we've also got maybe another 40, 50k in the club in terms of the ones I sent to club to get out of on a sign. But all in all, it's been, it's been very solid. Really now, we're on, we're on to the stage where we can start trading with specials, but also giving myself a bit of coin total to flip silvers. And if you guys remember the Eusebio videos and the way we grinded with those, it was a lot of solid, basically buying, selling, rebuying, selling, buying, selling, rebuying, like non-stop. That's the plan from here on in, as much as we possibly can do it. Um, I may take a slight break tonight, just because, as again, as you guys know, I had the COVID jab. It's not me a little bit, not me for six, so... I'm sort of going to chill out a little bit and once I'm sort of feeling better tomorrow, it's like a 24 hour period, they say you feel a bit rushed for, a rough for. Um, I probably will chill out and relax for now, but we should be back live again tomorrow on YouTube tomorrow morning. Um, and then obviously silver buy-in on Thursdays. My, fl Thursday flips tonight as well should do quite well, um, but I'm going to have a look at all that stuff now to decide what I want to buy into, if anything at all, or if I'm just going to trade with special cards tonight. Um, but yeah, once everything sells, 600,000 coins minimum in the bank. Um, so we're basically not far off, we're getting close to, um, a quarter of the way there. But from here now, it should really get a lot easier because we've got a lot more coins, a bigger coin base to be getting on with. Um, we started at 1k, up at 600,000 coins, and yeah, the grind now should be a lot easier on our way to Team Lidia Fernandez. But that is the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. Speak to you soon.